Everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding Isaac Adderid Plus. We're gonna do just an Eden run today. We've been reasonably successful lately, but I want to. Oh, we got like this big chubby or something? It is, I think. BWWD1YX8. No idea of what our HP looks like, but a great position as far as, uh. Well. A great position as far as, I suppose, our items go? Necronomicon is okay to start with, takes us closer to the book transformation. By the way, the reason I'm doing a, um, the reason I'm doing an Eden run here is because I know we have, like, a lot of greedier stuff left to handle. Like, a lot of greedier stuff left to handle. Like, so much greedier stuff left to handle. Then we have a couple alt path, uh, things that we need to sort out as well. I'm just trying to keep these enemies in line with Big Chubby so we can kill them. But I want to do an Eden run. Because it's fun. And I don't want to just mainline unlocks. I said that with like a sneer on my face, but I don't mean it like that. In many ways, it would be the best strat because if we got it done faster, we could get back to permanent runs like this faster. But I like to space it out, keep it going. You know, keep our morale high. And I think we've been playing pretty well lately. You know, we had a keeper win, even though it wasn't fast enough for the alt path. Celtic Cross is actually good, but sure, let's... Get brown nugget instead. Gives us a grandfather fly once a room. It's probably better than Necronomicon, which we're now going to try to reroll. I don't even know what that is. Varicose veins. I'm leaking. I'm assuming that has something to do with uh, creep. But I, I'm maybe we have to get hit for it to pop. I don't know. Either way, uh, brown nugget. I think like could be all right. The longer you spend on a room, it looks like the more uh, potent it's going to be. We don't get a charge immediately upon finishing a room, though. It, it's one of those items. So, I think we should wait until we get on the boss fight. And assuming that the the fly, the, the grandfather fly or the turret fly, doesn't take uh, damage. We're going to pop it down as close to the boss as we can. It's like right there. Big Chubby should just like wreck them as well. I'm not sure if it's that much. Let me put it this way. Once every six rooms, Necronomicon is going to probably be a lot better. However, considering the usefulness on absolutely every room, this might actually get the job done for us. Um, although I still, you know, I hesitate to say that this is an amazing item in and of itself. Get the screw, which ups our stats, which is actually pretty important because our rate of fire was relatively bad. And we'll head down to the next floor feeling, feeling pretty good about the situation. But with Curse of the Unknown, we don't know what our HP looks like. And thankfully, we had enough to stay in a, a decent spot there. And we can actually get to our boss trap room. First, though, the item room. I do want to go to that double key room. Yeah, I mean, I'm an idiot, so I'll take Tiny Planet. That doesn't bother me. And the boss trap room does not... Oh. Oh, that's probably varicose veins, I guess. When we get hit, it gives us, like, a a Tammy's head sort of shot or, like, a, a kidney stone pop or something like that. At least got our spirit heart back. Um, right now, this run is going to be super bad garbage. And that's because uh, Tiny Planet doesn't synergize with anything we got. So we're really waiting on... Uh, a deal with the devil to hopefully provide us with something that enables that. But that's, you know, I'm I'm the guy, at least in Isaac, not in real life, but in Isaac, I, I sometimes look before I leap. And I don't think that that is a, uh, I don't think that's something to damn. I'm not saying it's necessarily something to, to champion either. However, I, uh, I like in a video game getting a safe environment to live a little fast and loose. And it's led to some sweet runs. It's also the way that Dad did it. It's the way that America does it. It's worked out pretty well so far. Just gonna hold ourselves back as far as we can go here. And I mean, at this point, I'm like, is there any way to maximize the absurdity on this run and just make Brown Nugget uh, pop off ridiculously? For example, if we got 9-volt AAA battery or something like that, is that actually going to double the charge rate or at least increase the charge rate of our spacebar item that's already charging by itself? I do not know. Two Bandit doesn't do contact damage. That would be uh, excellent for us as well. So what are we looking for from the boss fight? Honestly, 
As much as I hate to enable the game to, to leave me a little bit uh, slow in terms of our progress, a Krampus fight wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if it gives us Lump of Coal. A range upgrade, luck upgrade, not that important. Empty Vessel is actually beautiful in this situation. It doesn't improve us at all offensively. We're just going to go, I think. It doesn't improve us at all offensively, but defensively it's so good. Get occasional invincibility. You know what? I'm going to take a crack at that. First, let's see what's here. A half red heart? Either way, Empty Vessel... Probably wasn't the number one A best item we could possibly hope to get. However, I think it was uh, an item that is going to benefit us quite a lot. So I'm happy with that. We don't really want battery charges. If we have other options, at least, we don't really want battery charges right now. Um, oh, that was extremely stupid to just stand right there. Um, but even though we don't really want battery charges, I guess maybe we can find something to do with them. If we get a different spacebar item. But we don't really want to replace the brown nugget. Kind of feel like if we get BFF. Um, there's a chance that this could actually be really, really good. I'm, I'm assuming it would be BFF and not Hive Mind. Should have placed this one dead center. I mean, as you can see, it's really just softening up enemies right now. But if we can get it to the point where it's, it's actually tearing them apart. That could change things. Dude, taking two hits on that room is uh, is an indignity from which I will never recover. However, look at that. You put this guy over here. Those guys can't move. Put this guy over here. And we should just be able to, like, fart right off. We can do whatever we want for the rest of this room. These guys will eventually die. It might take one to two hundred years. But eventually, every enemy on this section of the map is going to be taken care of. So you know what? That means for me, this is like a mild synergy with, um... Oh, so stupid. It's a mild synergy with Nod Leaf. It's a mild synergy with, like, Camo Underpants or whatever. Camo Kid, and that's it. Then you can just, like, stand still and spawn flies on top of the enemy. Only being, like, vincible occasionally. I don't know. I... <laughs> I meant to hit the space bar. I meant to hit the space bar! Rookie mistake. Either way, um, champion version of Gertie here. Go dead, we would have picked up either way. Like, I'd, we'll still see if I was an idiot. I could be an idiot but not be punished for it, or I could be an idiot and be punished for it. Yo, yeah, Big Chubby has got to do damage up there. What in the world did I get hit by? It must have been a fly that shot me from... An area that I didn't see. Yep, I am an idiot. Because we did get a deal with the devil. We also got belly button. I don't think I want belly button. Honestly, I'm, or, uh, I don't think I want uh, watch battery. I mean, I don't think we've ever found a good use for watch battery, unfortunately. We're still fine. Oh, you know what? Of course we're going to get a deal with the devil after you pick up Goathead on the deal with the devil. Alright, I feel better then. I'm not maybe as much of an idiot as I thought. I was just... I'm I'm an idiot I'm an idiot but for different reasons. Let's put it that way. I'm an idiot, baby, so why don't you thrill me? See, I think like that song could have a much more positive message. If I was made lead curator of the Bectionary. I'm trying to think it would be like You should always work hard. Be a smart dude, baby. Work hard for your family I was trying to we um we were talking about it on the NLSS I think it was on the NLSS at least where I was like what do you think is the most offensive song that Kids Bop has ever covered So Kids Bop is like a uh I don't know if it exclusively exists in North America but it seems in a way uniquely North American oh god damn it to me um where they'll take covers the songs or they'll take popular songs I should say and then they'll have like a choir of small children or you know adolescents perform it and why is that well let me I'm not I don't mean to be insulting here but what I'm gonna say is an innately insulting sentence um, 
kids don't have good taste. And I, I didn't have good taste when I was a kid. You may argue I don't have good taste now, but I definitely did not have good taste when I was a kid. If you gave a kid Hey Jude, sung by the, you know, the Beatles, you gave him Hey Jude, sung... Okay, have fun. If you gave him Hey Jude, sung by a 12-year-old, and they're 12 years old themselves, you know what version of Hey Jude they're gonna want? The 12 year they don't care about the fact that, oh, you know, uh, Skylar, this was written for John Lennon's son, Julian, after John ran off with Yoko Ono, and then, you know, you can hear the emotion in his voice, and from Paul McCartney, no, no! I want someone my age to sing this song, it makes it more relatable. I don't want this 31-year-old granddad, one foot in the grave, to sing Hey Jude, even though he wrote, composed, you know, iterated upon it, brought it to market, etc., etc. So I was, I was thinking, I was like, what do you think is the most offensive song that Kids Bop has ever covered? I'm on a quest. When we brought this up on the, on the show, everyone said, um, Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. And I... I understand that, that it touches on some, I guess, dramatic issues. But it's like, it's not that offensive. Like, I was talking about, like, She Fucking Hates Me or something like that, you know, by Puddle of Mud. If they have a version, She Flippin' Doesn't Like Me. She's my teacher, but I didn't do my homework, so she yelled at me. And gave me a B, she freaking hates me. Like, that's more along the lines of what I'm looking for, if we could maybe swing that. So let me know, tweet me if you've got an answer. But I want you to know I need proof. In order in order to, uh... Because I don't, I don't want to become one of those guys who's, like, spreading it on his stream. Yeah, apparently they covered, uh, you know, New York State of Mind by Nas. I don't think that that's probably true. But, you know, if you can, if you can show me some proof, I'll believe in it. I would love to know. Sh surely that like there's like TikTok or something like that, or you know, Disco Stick by Lady Gaga. Not songs that I would say are like you know tasteless, but subject matter is a little mature for uh, you know a, a choir full of ten year olds. All right, let's stop talking about Kids Bop because it just makes me so fucking angry. And we'll get in here. By the way, if you ever have ever owned a Kids Bop CD, uh, you're dead to me. No, if you've ever owned a Kids Bop CD, don't let me insult you uh, unduly. When I was 10 years old, I asked for something for Christmas that makes me ashamed to this day. It's called the Jingle Cats. It is a Christmas album where all of the singing parts... First off, Christmas album. Strike one. Secondly, uh, where all of the parts are replaced by meows. From, like, sampled from actual cats. So it would be like, you know, here's White Christmas. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. And then, like, I was like, this is the greatest shit of all time. And then my parents got it for me. Bless them. Listened to it night and day for, like, two weeks. One day, I, uh... Woke up. As the case was, I wanted to listen to the Jingle Cats. Open up the, the jewel case. The disc is snapped in half. I said, Mom, Dad, what happened to the Jingle Cats CDs? Oh, I don't know. I guess one of the cats must have jumped on the jewel case and broke it. Totally bought that story until just about right now when I realized they definitely smashed it. <laughs> and then came up with the, a plausible hypothesis that gives them an alibi. Oh yeah, the cats were threatened by uh, the meowing and then they recognized that those ethereal sounds must have been coming from inside of that silver disc right there. Because, you know, cats have that level of logical reasoning. And uh, yeah, definitely, dude. Alright, well, you know what? I'm not, I'm not salty about it, because the Jingle Cats, who knows, that might have warped my, my tastes forever, so. Maybe we're better off this way. You can find the Jingle Cats on YouTube, by the way. If you go to the Jingle Cats videos and you want to leave a comment, like NL sent me, please do me a favor and strike that from the record. I would much prefer you actually left a comment that was like, Michael A.L. Fox sent me, because honestly, I'm ashamed by my words and my deeds when it comes to the Jingle Cats. So, if you could just give me an air of, again, plausible deniability, that would be very nice. Okay, Power Pill is also very nice, because taking a bunch of damage. I Obviously, $3 bill. I, I really like this as an item. It will occasionally hurt us. We just need something that generates 
any kind of defense for us, and I'll feel a whole hell of a lot better about the situation. So I'm not trying to say that this is the worst run we've ever had. However, we have a, a dubious space bar item that might end up actually being awesome. Then we have a, um, a pretty bad damage stat. A pretty bad... Well, actually, our rate of fire is fine. Let's not misrepresent that. Um, we're, basically, we're not doing a whole bunch of damage. We have no defense to go along with it. So it's like a... It's a, it's a very touchy situation. So I figured we'd just pop Power Pill. Once we got down to the second phase here, we got Black Powder, which is fine if you don't have 0 0.89 speed, and neither of these items are takeable. But you know what? Nor would they really help me out. They don't really solve the problems. Of course, they do get me closer to being Guppy, but they don't really solve the problems we're facing innately right now, so uh, I'm not feeling too bad about that. Should just create as many... As many flies as is plausible. Here we got power pills, so. Should probably roll power pill, like maybe right there. How are you so fast? Luck up, also with 3.64 luck. We are like perched on the edge of an easy win here. We just need to get, you know, an item that helps us. Now I'm not gonna be, you know, too misrepresenting this. I understand that I also have played a major role in, in this run being fucked up pretty much by taking Tiny Planet early on. Thank God for Empty Vessel, but we do need something more here. We're barely keeping ourselves alive, you know, by basically buying Spirit Hearts every floor. Um, we have some tiers that can actually... Yes, okay, that was very dumb. We have some tiers that can actually hurt us, so... Uh, I gotta, I gotta slow my roll, honestly. You know what? Let's play some dulcet tones from the Jingle Cats to keep us going. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. There was also the Jingle Dogs, in case you were out there and your number one problem with that story was that there wasn't equal representation in horrible Christmas, Christmas music between North America's two favorite domesticated animals. Um, that was, uh... That definitely existed. They they saw your objection and they headed it off at the pass. For some reason, Jingle Cats has become, I think, more of an enduring legacy. I don't know if it was more popular. I don't know what that says about us as a uh, as a populace or as a species. Well, I definitely got hit there, so thank you, Empty Vessel. I, like, you know how many outs we have here. We have so many outs. A Tinted Rock. A Random Spirit Art Drop. A shop showing up that doesn't have greed in it. An item room with an HP upgrade, like... That's all we need. What do we got here? The Emperor. Dude, I am a little frightened. What? Oh, we have invincibility! Go hard! I think we're gonna make it. Looks like we made it. Guess how long we come now, baby? Not really that far. Still got 3.48 damage. Well, actually, like... I mean, I should be happy I got the mulligan. I am happy I got the mulligan. It's a great damage enabler for us. Um, spirit hearts. Oh! No, don't make me do it. Um, the problem is we're one hit away from death, like, at all times. So, um, how, how does that not kill you? Don't I have, like, proptosis? Shots, like, don't even make it around. Um... I need, uh, I need a spirit heart. If you could give me a spirit heart, I'd feel a whole lot better. Watch out, dude. Fire mind. We have to survive against the odds for quite some time here. Dude, with the proptosis. Stop. Get some help. Grab that, we're at 20 cents. <laughs> Again, it's very, very good.
I mean, you know they're going to shoot. You just have to accept that. Our flies are now going to be awesome. Just let me live. Oh my god, that was so close. It still remains so close. Let me escape. I figured we, we could afford to take one crack at it. Oh my god, no greed, no greed. Oh my lord, my brain actually got fucking fragmented when this dude took a shot at me, but I lived. Is this the most starved I've ever been for HP? I don't know, it just never ends. I don't trust this little tiny enemy here, dude. We are at the point where our damage is good enough, we don't really need to like kick the shit out of an enemy. Couple hits, generates maybe a fly, and then you're good. I think you use your bomb to try to get to a second secret room. This is like the perfect example, by the way, of how every single heart on a run helps. Like, every bit of damage you take can come back to bite you in the ass. So this is step one, um, is break all the fucking TNT. I have no speed. So if this dude summons some bombs, we're going to be in a bit of a dicey spot. I also just realized, or if he just chases us down, which, you know, he always does. I um, also realized we're not going to get any HP. You know, we've already been in here. There's no HP and there's Book of Sin. So I guess we're just going to live for one more floor without having the ability to freaking do anything. Um, no, no, there's a way out. Okay, there's one way out here. Don't even talk to me about that guy. That shop fucked me, dude. We're not gonna be doing boss rush. Ain't no doubt about that. Instead, we're gonna hold it together here. Now again, I recognize. I have, you know, a human brain inside of my brain. That doesn't make any sense. That's an inspiring quote. I have a human brain inside of my brain. No, I have a human brain inside of my skull. I recognize that it's my stupid damage that led us to that situation where we had to survive that whole floor, more or less, on half of a spirit heart. However, you also would expect to get a chance to get a spirit heart from one of, like, many different avenues. It doesn't have to be a spirit heart. Give me a red heart, dude, from the boss or something. Run the depths too. We're actually not as far behind schedule as I thought. And the run, the the irony of the last floor, and the reason I was getting a little anxious there, is because we finally had a win. You know, picking up the mulligan, picking up Cricket's head. Those are all like extremely uh, worthwhile. Where did that guy come from? Um, those are all extremely worthwhile items. We're in a great spot, especially you know with the goat head for future forward progress. We do need, like, there's some compulsory ingredients I would suggest that we need right now. Um, one of which is speed. Another one is HP. I wouldn't mind more damage. As much as I hate to say it, because, you know, you're like, Ooh, you got Death's Touch once every four rooms or something. You may not be wrong, but... You know, I would take a Blood Bag. It also gives us the opportunity to, although we'll lose Empty Vessel, probably get it back uh, for the next floor. Because we'll have the... Oh, have we had a Krampus fight yet? I don't think so. Lump of Coal would also be great. Lump of Coal is awesome with, um, with, uh, Tiny Planet. But again, this is what I said. I look before I leap. Dude, I don't even know. My Reflection, Tiny Planet. I'm assuming, uh, it has no impact. Hierophant. Chariot. Also very good. Um, of two minds about it. One might be, use the Chariot card to play the, um, to play the blood bank as much as you can. Oh, that was a very not good use of the brown nugget there. I actually think that the much better play is to use the chariot card against a boss that is kicking your butt. Or in any room that's kicking your butt, for that matter. Steven. Very thankful. Plus 2.14 damage. I think a lot of the damage that we're taking here, by the way, I'm not going to say it's not preventable. Because I think that that is disingenuous. However, it's preventable only with good positioning. 0 0.89 speed is not unwinnable. 
but it does put you in a situation where, you know, you're at like slightly greater than Maggie's starting speed. It's not particularly good. Obviously, BFFs, if it makes our brown nugget better, which it looks like it does, we'll take mom's key for better chess. Two of diamonds doubles our money. Should have used it earlier, but again, basically just does not matter at all. If you had told me we'd be able to, you know, buy a bunch of items in here and then donate a bunch of money as well, I would have been thrilled. So you know what? I'm going to choose to be thrilled. Donate as much money as we can muster, and then um, see if we can catch up and make this run, I don't know, a hot dog. Let's uh, just pretend that that vein of conversation didn't even take place. Uh... trying to think about how I would like this run to go. Do I want to go back on what I said earlier and get a uh, get a chariot card to work against the blood bank and maybe get I mean if we get IV bag that's at least we know but we'd really be looking for IV bag or sorry we'd really be looking for blood bag it's a confusing sentence. Um, we also probably want to check the boss trap room if it's got red, golden, or stone chests. Tech point five is very good. Not the kind of chests I'm looking for. Teleporters or black hearts, please. Joker card. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. This actually gives us an out uh, to use our chariot card against the blood bank. And against might not be the right word. You might be saying, hey, dude, we're on the same page here, but... I don't know if I feel that way, to be honest with you. I don't know if I feel that we're on the same page. I'm not sure the game has been as kind to me as I would like. So we use the cherry card here, and then we save our um, card, the uh, the Joker card for the Cathedral. We got it on the very, very last play. And I was, like, scratching my balls thinking what I'm going to do there. I was like, am I going to play this? Am I going to play this? Am I going to play And I did it. And it came through in the clutch. That's not, you know, good. That's the definition of lucky. Sometimes you gotta be lucky to be good or something. I don't know. Um, so now we have 1.19 speed base, which is still not amazing. Like, I'm still not in the market to be using uh, our uh, black powder that frequently. But it's not nearly as horrible. We can't fly, but only temporarily. Soon we'll be able to fly again, because we'll have a deal with the devil. This floor, or the next floor, presumably, probably gives us like a nearly 100% chance that one of those deals will allow us to give up one to two red hearts. So although you can very easily make the argument that I put us into this mess in the first place, um, by taking so much dumb damage early, I also got us out of this mess, and that feels good. I, I think I can be proud of saving myself from oblivion here. No, we, I don't even want uh, Krampus' head, and the reason I don't want Krampus' head is because I want to I wanna try to make BFF brown nugget work. Straight up, I'm actually going to use the deal with the devil here. Uh, or the Joker card. And the reasoning was so that I could get the ability to fly as soon as possible. So we know where our boss fights are. It's an XL floor, so I was like, I don't want to go through this whole floor, maybe lose way more HP than I would otherwise have to. Just to, um, just to maximize our use of this Joker card. I think sometimes the high value play is a trap. And uh, it's out of only mutual respect for you and myself that I don't do it. It's a trap. So I hope you appreciate it. But um, I think that uh, sometimes you can get in this position. Hammers in, in Hearthstone all the time. You can get in this position of like, well, I could play this card right now, but if the, you know, magical dream scenario happens in three turns, I could play it and get, like, you know, 30% more value out of it. And then that dream scenario doesn't happen, or even if it does, it's, it's way too late for you to actually get the value you need out of it. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I would have been way better off just playing Medivh's Valet as a, you know, as a two-drop. I think, well, I'm starting to think that this is, like, absolutely 100% the wrong way. This run's certainly not, like... Most powerful run ever territory, but actually starting to be, dare I even suggest, above average as far as run quality goes right now. I mean, if we get our, uh, if we play our cards right, we could possibly fight Hush. I don't think that's too freaking likely, but 
Um, and we've only got two and a half minutes, and we got a long way to go because we just hit a mammoth dead end, but that was quite poor. But it's nice to be able to actually take a little damage. Not that I'm suggesting we should. It's not like the deal with the devil ain't gonna save us now. It already saved us by giving us Abaddon. We don't need to pick up individual pennies, I think, at this point. We could, you know, try for luck upgrades. Luck upgrades are lovely. One of my favorite stats, actually. However, uh, our luck stat is already 3.64. Anything beyond that is gravy, but not necessarily too likely. Ah, we should open. We should definitely open chests. And if we're opening the chests, we should get the money out of the chests. I'll admit. Please let me out for free somehow. That bomb? Is that... Have I finally figured out what, um... Missing Page does? It's like the same as the scissors? It seemed like there was a troll bomb that became not a troll bomb there. Strength card. Uh, actually... Probably useless. But I was thinking for a minute there, I was like, free deal with the devil? But we'd have to get a Joker card in order to make use of it, because there's no more deals with the devil coming. Which means we would have to, um get something that allows us to hold two cards at the same time. Probably getting into the realm of, that's not too freaking likely. This dude is, is done and dusted without a single doubt. Easy mode, okay. Take care of that. Any invincibility, we should be using ball of bandages now that we are a little bit more confident on our uh, HP. So watch for that invincibility and that Certainly gives you the ability to take out a lot of the uh, nasty enemies we could be fighting at some point. It's actually a very, very easy fight right there. Obviously no item. We've already checked our deal with the devil, which was good. We're just going to head up to the cathedral. And honestly, I'm, I'm thrilled that this run has found itself 20 minutes on the depths to 29 minutes on the cathedral. That's like extremely uh, quick turnaround. And it, what was the what was the big get for us? Well, you know, now it's probably Abaddon. But prior to that, it was uh, the, all those DPS upgrades on the Depths too, combined with the ability to uh, actually have some HP to run with it. Which actually, now that I think about it, is still not a guarantee. Like uh, we're not necessarily going to win this run just because. I'm and I'm not. Trying to, like, clickbait you. Well, make sure you watch till the end of the video to see what happens. But, um, I mean, if you're already, if you've watched this far, I might implore you to do so just for some continuity and finality as well. But, however, all I'm saying is without any reliable ability to, to spawn more uh, spirit hearts, there is a chance that, you know, double cage room, double adversary room or something just, uh, you know, ruins my life. And then it would be a problem. What makes you small? I do... I mean, I, I have to come up with another... It's not a contingency plan, really. But but an action plan. For when uh, I... Get invincibility. Because we it's not enough to just use Ball of Bandages. Although it's quite good. We should also, on top of that, use um, Black Powder. Especially now that our speed makes it plausible that we could do that without... You know... Making the world's smallest circle. Tears down. Relatively minor uh, at this point, I'd say, but... Obviously, if given the choice, I would prefer to have not had to go down this road. Flying enemies do not get screwed by black powder, of course, but... Oh, okay. See, that's why we should not do what I was doing there. It's okay to run into enemies with the ball of bandages, especially like a... An augmented ball of bandages that's even stronger, but you gotta be, you gotta know your place. And this is not the right time to do that with, with 6 HP that's, again, non-renewable. Just wait, you got invincibility coming. I know, and even as I'm saying that, I'm like walking in there and like, okay, well, get ball of bandages working. You fly, so we don't need to do any black powder action. Oh, you're a, a living being. Okay. Certainly, if we win this run, which I, I would give us a, a decent chance, I would say that this is not one of the worst runs that has ever led to success for us. Uh, but certainly, in recent times, one of the best uh, 
pullbacks from Oblivion, I guess, at least. And I'm not going to give myself too much credit, because I'm the reason we found ourselves in that position to begin with. But uh, to, to pull back from that is a sign of, to some degree of strength. There we go, invincibility. That's what we're looking for. And this guy is a terrestrial animal, so... Well, he was until he got the ability to fly there. We got a little bit of extra damage done with ball of bandages, and we're almost done. Easy, easy, easy Isaac fight. Please, God, like a relic, a gimpy, um, something that we can use. No curse is a good start. Unicorn horn for invincibility. Poop continuum the body. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. You probably want to take the body as like a last ditch effort. If your HP starts to get super low, you know, you grab the body before you go into the boss fight, recognize it costs you the ability to fly, um, but then use the body and the strength card together to have a, a good chance of, you know, crushing whatever opposition you're coming across. I'm gonna guess that in the boss room, you're probably gonna be coming across Blue Baby, but you never know, you know? World's a, world's a wild place sometimes. There we go, we got 4.64 luck. I'm surprised that we haven't gotten uh, an item from this floor yet. Or, well, you know, except for the starting rooms, but... Um, we could use a little bit more on top, especially defensively, just to make this happen. The, the starting room is not amazing for us. And 4.64 luck makes me think that, like, it should be... Ah, oh, fire mine, God damn it! It should be doable. So we'll see if, I don't know, we can get a cube of meat out of, or uh, the spirit hearts out of that somehow. No such luck. I'm not, okay, that probably should have hit us. So you know what, let's say we're even for now. I'm not gonna let fire mine take us out. If an enemy hits us and kills us, you know, with a good shot, so be it. That, I mean, that one could have gotten me as well. If fire mine kills us, you know, that's just embarrassing. We can also take uh, Unicorn Horn into the boss fight, and uh, that seems like a, a good call to me, because it will be invincibility, and also a, an extreme enabling of us to use uh, Ball of Bandages, which could be worth quite a lot. But for now, just taking our time, we're just moving on, yeah, you'll forget about me after I've been gone, this is Boston everybody! One day, I'm just doing this YouTube thing till my, my ban from the Lounge Association of America expires. We don't have a Lounge Association in Canada, alright, stop trying to deem me unpatriotic. Once they get the infrastructure for lounge singing up here, I'm all in. Now I'm, I'm getting impatient. I'm like, come on. Where's my chess? You're not giving me any chess on the chest. It's downright, you know, a slight against me as a human being. I don't know what's going on with our tears. They are lasting forever here. I'm trying to get a black powder done, and we did. I don't know if I'd recommend it necessarily. It was kind of a... An intense operation in there. We did 5.64 luck. If we don't get an HP, or not an HP upgrade, but a, a drop of chess at 5.64 luck, like, somebody out there actually hates us. This is a standard deviation or more above the norm as far as luck goes. Usually, you know, you finish a run, what's your luck stat? I don't know, zero. Well, at least we know that this is a dead end quickly. Not that it's kind of like a false uh, hope, I suppose, but still. Looks like we're going to... I mean, we've already done half of this floor. So my, my guess is that we probably got a pretty good chance to succeed. Trigger the shot. Trigger the shot. There we go. I didn't really want to get HP. Um, in fact, we would have probably been better off... Trying to get Shoop to whoop, but... In the end, it doesn't really matter. Actually, this is awesome. The fact that uh, we have so few rooms to go to get to the boss room. I mean, it means that it was really shitty that we went in the wrong direction the first time, but... Now I'm, I'm extremely happy. Thank you, Orbitals, for ensuring that I don't get hit many times there, despite my own idiocy. 
There we go. We took damage, and if I'm being honest, I'm happy to do so because it means that I can get in there with my orbital. I have a good excuse. Um, we're going to win. Probably. I'm still bummed that I got no chess. Either way, 5.64 luck squandered? I wouldn't say so. I'd say that we got the win, so we should be happy. For now. Ooh, that's a stretch and a half. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Again, for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.